Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new. Today I am going to be showing you my Aldi and Walmart grocery pickup haul. I'm going to be doing Walmart first because it's the one that I had some frozen food in and I want to get it put up. Um, I apologize for the cough drop in my mouth. My husband brought back a cold <laughs> from his work trip so I'm on the mend but poor Miss Ireland is laying down in the bed right now. <laughs> My cat's eating if you can hear that I apologize but I am going to go ahead and get this started and show this to you uh, there also is I'm not sure if it's gonna go before or after this um, but I have a video also that I have filmed I haven't edited it yet though of how I meal plan and organize my grocery shopping all that good stuff so let's get started on the haul Miss Trixie over there looking all sad is that Miss Trixie looking sad? <laughs> Here is an overview of this part. This one does have a lot more snacky stuff than I normally get, but we have a movie night planned, so I guess that's my excuse to not cook a full bone dinner. <laughs> so we'll start on this side and work our way over. Usually I start with produce, but there's not as much in this order as there normally is. Gatorades for my husband. Here's Jack's. I'm telling you, every time I talk to you, he comes to check. Gatorades for my husband. Now, excuse you, rude dog. I did a lot of uh, price comparison with this grocery, with this grocery trip, and those size uh, Gatorades at Walmart are 88 cents, and at Aldi, they're 99 cents. Um, I ordered cherry vanilla, I don't know if you can see that, cherry vanilla of these because that's my favorite. It tastes like a cherry vanilla Coke, but it's obviously better for you, but they substitute a black cherry. That's fine. I like that too. Um, some Reynolds aluminum foil because it's grilling season and we need that. This uh, Clorox toilet wand, that is for grandma's house. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning like I normally do in my grocery hauls. All of this food is not for us. Some is for us and some is for my husband's grandmother. We take care of her and make her her food because she's on a, a renal failure diet. Trixie, that is cat food, go. So I know it looks like a lot of food and it is realistically, but it's for two homes and it will last us almost three weeks. So I did spend, I want to say a little over 400. I kept the prices. I know Walmart was 319. I don't remember what I spent at Aldi, but I'll add, I'll even add prices on the screen. I'll try to remember this time. I know I said that last time and I think I forgot, but um, Classic Ranch from the Great Value brand. Um, Fallon on Moss Family TV talks about this. Usually we do Hidden Valley, but this is a lot cheaper. So we're going to give it a try. Ireland really is the one that likes her ranch the most. So we have lime juice, taco seasoning, some popcorn flavors. Again, movie night. Sorry for the shadow again. Um, these are snack cups these are the five and a half ounce ones and these are the two ounce ones i'm going to be doing a lot of breakfast and lunch prep obviously you'll see that in another video these if you're trying to find a way to drink more water and be healthy about it these things there is no artificial sweeteners and no artificial flavors and they're non-gmo they are delicious the watermelon one is absolutely my favorite I have not tried these two yet. This is raspberry lemonade and peach lemonade. They have a regular lemon one and a black cherry one also. I tried those and the watermelon one last time. I got the watermelon one again and then tried the other two. This is a little treat for myself. Sea salt caramel latte. So good. I've only tried it once. This is for one of the meals for grandma she has to have white bread with her kidney failure um, that goes with one of the meats over there that I'll show you in a minute Ireland likes these water flavors let's see if I can get it without a shadow for you 
water flavors. It's strawberry watermelon. I tried to get the Simply Clear one so there's no like added dyes and stuff in it, but they were out of it on this one. I want to say I even got a different flavor, but this was a substitution. It's okay. Um, with her renal failure, we have to do salt free. So garlic and herb, that's one of her favorites that I put in a bunch of stuff that I make for her and she loves it. Um, healthy white bread for grandma again. Grandma needed some Windex, so I got her a bottle of that. I use the Mrs. Myers, but she doesn't really care much for the, like the scents of the Mrs. Myers. The Gain Flings, this is, again is for Grandma. I use Gain as well, but I just use the regular stuff, but with her hands and stuff, it's easier for her to use the Flings. Pinto Beans, just one can of those. Two cans of the diced tomatoes, and one can of tomatoes with green chilies going in a recipe for us. I got some Tropicals um, sugar-free popsicles because we have all had sore throats this week and it's on the way to the grocery store today it said it was 99 degrees. <laughs> so these will be fantastic because July and August are our hottest months so we still have a week of this month and then one more month before we get to the hottest months and it's already 99 degrees. A bag of sweet peas. I am going to be making grandma's seven layer salad this week for myself. I have been craving it. She said that I can share the recipe, so I will be. These frozen things are for movie night. Well, we have brown rice that goes with the tomatoes and pinto beans in a recipe. Crab rangoons, chicken pot stickers. Oh, can you see that? Pork egg rolls. I ordered pork pot stickers and shrimp egg rolls. Those were substitutions, but it's okay. Luckily, we're not a super picky eating family. So um, jalapeno poppers, my husband loves those. Loaded potato sticks, those sounded really good to me. And since it's a night to not fully watch what I eat, <laughs> why not? They're like a dollar a piece, so I'm sure they're absolutely terrible for you. Some Stouffer's macaroni and cheese because my, li my daughter would live off of macaroni and cheese if she could. And then for my not cheating days when I want something sweet. Peanut butter cups, um, Halo Top, and then my absolute favorite, Caramel Macchiato. I would just buy all of this one and the cinnamon roll if I could. They were out of cinnamon roll and substituted with that one. But that one, it's hard for me to stop myself from eating the entire thing at once. <laughs> um, Extreme Wellness spinach and herb wraps. And then I got some of the low carb ones. I got two packs of those. For like quesadillas and stuff. This one is for sandwich wraps for uh, Miss Ireland for lunch. I'm also going to do a video on a week of lunches for her. Got her these. What flavors are in this? Strawberry and mixed berry. There's no added sugar and no high fructose corn syrup. Only eight grams of sugar in these yogurts. She's had them before and she really liked them. Thing of cilantro. Shredded iceberg lettuce for one of our recipes. Uh, butter lettuce. I love this if I'm doing like lettuce wrap tacos or pretty much anything. I'll even wrap a burger up in that instead of eating a bun. Oh, delicious looking watermelon ahead of iceberg lettuce. Um, green onions. <laughs> Drew a blink for a second. Apple slices. I know I can cut them up myself, but this with Ireland will be gone in like a day or two anyways. Back here we have cat food. This is what we normally get, just a bigger pack. They were out of the bigger pack so they substituted with this, which is totally fine as long as it's in gravy and broken into pieces. He's just spoiled and won't eat the pate. I've bought him stuff that was like a few dollars a can and the cat would didn't want anything to do with any of it. We've got sherbet because Ireland and I will eat these. They're sugar free, so I can have those as well. I'll eat these, but my husband, eh, he kind of likes these, but he won't eat anything on a wooden stick that grosses him out. So I got him sherbet, a pack of crackers for Miss Ireland, and these uh, Walmart brand Nutrigrain bars are like my husband's absolute favorite snack. That whole box will be gone in no time because that's like his, like the only thing that he asks for when I go grocery shopping. And then we got Fruity Lucky Charms. 
Um, I only buy cereal one box at a time. The box that we have is almost gone that we opened about two and a half weeks ago. Um, hazelnut coffee creamer for Grandma. And instant coffee for Grandma. Let's see if you can really see this or not. This is, I ordered a mix of combos, like the little pretzel and cracker things with like the stuff in the middle, but they substituted it with this. But the bugles, Chex Mix, all of that stuff. And of course the Muddy Buddies. Ireland and my husband will love. So that is, oh, I didn't show you the candles. Maui Beach Waves. Those are only like four bucks a piece, I think. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. I almost stepped on you. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Those are only like four bucks a piece at Walmart. And I got some Mrs. Myers ones that were like this tall for like $7.99 last time. So like in comparison, not a bad deal. So that is that part of it. And then over here, we have the meat from Walmart. Miss Ireland is laying down over there. She came out to join us, but she's not feeling too good. So, what's that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like to make what I call uh, keto or grown-up Lunchables, where I take salami, pepperoni, and cheese cubes. Hold on just a second, Tracy. And then I got lunch meats, um, rotisserie seasoned chicken breast, and oven roasted turkey. It's nice to hear you laughing right now. This was another one of the substitutions. I ordered the one that had, I think, 16 slices or something like that, and they substitute it with this one. It's the same exact thing. They just give you more if they're out of it, which who can complain about that? Um, finely shredded Fiesta blend bacon I buy the big one I cut it in half I freeze half and then keep that this is I'm a bacon snob I'm not even gonna lie um, I've tried all the ones at Aldi and all over the place and this one is my absolute favorite so I just buy the big one and freeze it like that smoked sausage for one of our recipes ground beef for one of ours the steak goes with this um, same the buns for grandma and then the chicken breast, I always, I usually get at Aldi, but I just went ahead and got it from Walmart because I was placing my order and it was less I had to get, which I'm glad because I picked up my groceries from Walmart and then ran to Aldi because they're right across the street here and poor Ireland was just miserably sick. So I'm glad that I got more from Walmart than I normally do. This one has drumsticks, wings, and thighs. And I'm doing a recipe that has thighs, but not everyone likes thighs, so this is like the perfect mix that I can throw in the Instant Pot. And we all will have the same thing, but we'll all have a cut or type of meat that we like. Okay, that is it for the Walmart haul, except for there is a case of 24 Dasani, yes, Dasani uh, water. It wouldn't fit on the table. You know what a case of water looks like. So that came up to 319 believe I got everything out there. I'm gonna put the frozen stuff up real quick, move that off and set out the Aldi stuff and I'll be right back. All right, and here is the Aldi haul. Now I will start on this side because there's a bit more on the side. I got three things of strawberries. They were 99 cents each. I wanna say these were like $1.48. Again, I'll put the prices on here. I kept the receipts on purpose this time just to make sure. Thing of red onions, thing of yellow onions, a head of cabbage. I was supposed to get two of these in my Walmart haul and they didn't have any. And then that was the last one at Aldi. <laughs> so I'll be having to go back to the store for another one of those. One's for us and one's for grandma so I can just stop on the way to her house for hers. Thing of romaine, easy peel mandarins, one of Ireland's favorite snacks. Um, two beefsteak tomatoes, three green bell peppers, two packs of the tri-colored, cucumbers, bananas. They're so little green, but I still have like two or three left over here, so that's fine. Don't mind the mess right here. Leftover from Ireland's birthday party. <laughs> two things of grapes, 
Over here is two cans of corn and then some pineapple slices, sliced pears, mandarin oranges. I don't normally buy canned fruit, but Ireland has been wanting some and I figure if I put that in the fridge and it's nice and cold, that'll feel good on her throat. I got a couple things of the um, soup from Aldi, chicken noodle soup, harvest potato, and harvest vegetable. They were out of gallons of milk at Aldi, so I got a half gallon of vitamin D milk. Well, they had gallons, but it was 2%, and I know my husband and my child won't drink that, so. Unsweetened original and vanilla almond milk for grandma. She cannot have the fat and sugar and cow's milk. Um, unsalted butter for her, salted for us. String cheeses, we all like those. Three blocks of Colby Jack. Our recipes call for two, and then one of those and one of these is to cut up to snack on. Heavy whipping cream, um, sour cream, four dozen eggs, some of this um, chickpea and green lentil gluten-free pasta. It was really good last time I tried that. Boom Chicka Pop, my favorite snack. Peanut butter clusters, gluten-free. I have not tried that yet, so I figured I would give it a try. The two dog treats are also from Aldi. I did forget to put the dog food in the Walmart haul, so I put that up there. And then a case of the flavored water that we like, the big case unsweetened blueberry applesauce and then these vitamin waters they're kind of expensive so I don't buy them very often but I figure since we're all sick some vitamin water wouldn't hurt right now some buttery round crackers usually I buy the party tray from Walmart for like $12 that has salami pepperoni cheese and then two packs of crackers in the middle and I priced it and it's like six dollars cheaper to do it yourself so <laughs> that's why I got those because Ireland likes the crackers, I eat the meat and the cheese. Um, two things of tissues, again, we've all been sick. Gallon freezer baggies for food prep and such. Black pepper for Gremel. It's like eight bucks for a set of pajamas at, Wal or at Aldi, so I figured I would try it. Yes, I'm that weirdo that would buy pajamas from Aldi. I think that is it. Sorry for the sirens in the background. This was on clearance, I want to say for like $2 or something like that. It's washable sidewalk uh, paint. And each one had different colors, so I got those. And if you don't know, now you do. I absolutely am obsessed with sloths. And it is a sloth kite. That was $4.99 and marked down to $3.49. So we will be flying a sloth kite. The dogs hear the sirens, so they're growling. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the grocery haul. Um, again, I'll put the prices in. I know Walmart was $3.19. I don't remember how much I spent at Aldi. Ireland was crying and she didn't feel good, so I was just kind of like, here, take my card and let me get out of here. Um, I'll put all the prices in. And like I said, there will be a what we had for dinner video coming and an, a separate video for a week of lunches for Ireland. So you can have some lunch ideas for kiddos and also how I plan for grocery shopping. I've had a few people ask, um, how, I, I don't know, I didn't think I was that organized, but how I stay organized and how I do things. So I figured why not share how I do it? Uh, it's pretty, I, I think it's fun to meal plan and grocery shop and plan my grocery shopping trip and stuff. I find it fun, so. Oh, poor thing. Those videos will be coming soon, so keep an eye out for those. Give this video a big thumbs up if you would like to see more of these from me and comment down below if you have any questions or tips or tricks or anything like that and click the little bell if you want to see more in the future. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye friends!